He's gonna find bananas. He ate whole project. Yeah. Oh, I guess. See, there's a sign there. Oh my god, look at that! Oh, this is the deep tree. The deep tree allows museum visitors to learn about evolution by exploring the great tree of life. The tree of life shows how life on Earth is related through 3.5 billion years of evolutionary history. The deep tree consists of three major components. The first is the main display area, in which visitors can explore the tree. The second component on the very right is a scrolling image reel containing 200 species. And the third component is an action button, centrally overlaying the image reel. Visitors can explore the tree by zooming and panning. Pulling the tree down reveals more details at its canopy, while pushing up zooms out to provide a bigger picture. Panning can be done horizontally and both interactions can be seamlessly combined. As zooming and panning is done with a single directional gesture, we can apply standard momentum techniques to enable flicking for a more playful experience. When multiple users try to explore the tree, the average of all movement is applied. Opposing input cancels each other out. This way users have to cooperate and negotiate a direction of common interest. The images in the canopy are a first point of attraction. While users hold their finger down on any image, the tree automatically zooms towards the depicted species. A second entry point is a scrolling image reel containing a selection of 200 signpost species that represent important evolutionary groups. Visitors can scroll through the list and pull out any signpost species onto the tree. While held, the signpost species show a chord to its position in the tree and automatically flies the visitor towards it. Multiple tiles can be pulled out and held at the same time, however, if unattended, they fade and snap back to the position on the reel. A third entry point is an action button. Tapping the button reveals three menu items, Relate, Find and Return. The Relate function lets visitors select any two species from the image reel. The tree highlights their shared lineage and automatically flies to the most recent common ancestor of both species. Upon arrival, visitors find an entry point for an embedded learning activity. After tapping the button, the tree shrinks into the top left corner and a simplified tree is shown. For orientation, it contains major evolutionary groups and the two selected species. Tapping any common ancestor floods the respective groups with color and shows information on ancestry and traits that both species share. Visitors can also access illustrations of the selected group's defining trait. The minimized tree remains interactive. Visitors can go back to the deep tree any time. The find action lets visitors select any landmark species and automatically flies them to the corresponding area in the tree. Our fly-through is designed to convey the vast scale of biodiversity and evolutionary history to the visitor. Here we see a fly through from bananas to the American bald eagle via their common ancestor. All UI components respond to tapping, as this is the most common way visitors spontaneously interact with on-screen widgets. If a component does not react to tapping, inline instructions are given. This can be done via tooltips, arrows or instructional animations. Monkeys, maybe? Or no? Oh. What? This is crazy. 
It's going to be bumpy. Yeah, five bananas. Five bananas. Eight whole projects. Yeah. Oh my god. See, there's a sign there. Oh my god, look at that! We're finding oh. these sister bananas. Is it going yeah. back to the other fine? We're finding snails. Well, we're. That's cool. It's okay, just like that. Stop it. Oh, so you can zoom in more. Holy moly. Wow. These are all like DNA and stuff. So, what the species? Bananas? Ooh. Bananas? Okay. Holy cow. Whoa. Come on, guys, let's zoom in. Let's do that thing again. Well, action. Find. What's the bananas? The stingray. No, the bananas do the best. Dude, stop. Don't touch it. The species. That's cool.